characters couldn't end up together, who would you want each other to end up with? I mean, Allison's never really had anyone. She's had a few flings. I know you want to kiss me. They were more like strategic. <laughs> I feel like Allie would need to date some older men that weren't in Rosewood. <laughs> that were like billionaires. It's yeah. like the only way that she'd be happy. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Take yeah. me to Paris. <laughs> yeah. And that would be totally it. I don't like think she would. in Texas or something. Yeah, with like even bigger hair. That rock. Yeah. Big hair. I don't think she would ever really find love. Like, I don't think she knows really what that is other than with Emily. Emily would probably. She couldn't be with Allison, would probably be in California dating some girl that would like jump in the drum circle with her every Sunday in Venice Beach. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. she'd be down yeah. for that just to get so far away from Rosewood yeah. and not have to deal with that. If you could write Allison's future after the show, what would it be? Just out of hope for our town, I would hope that we would leave it. I feel like, you know, I. I because Allison, yeah, would not want to be there anymore. And that was yeah. one thing that I never understood was why, I mean, I understood because she, you know, she wanted to stay, be close to Charlotte, but I never understood why they kept us there, or like Allison yeah. there for five years. I understand that she became a teacher, but also, <laughs> who would let her teach there? I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I got a little lost. Tomorrow you get to read to me. Um, and the irony that she was teaching the same class that Ezra was. She would move away and she would find some place that is maybe a little busier, a little, no, little so. more of like a city. And I always say that I think Emily would like train some young swimmer to then go on to the Olympics and she would be like yeah. the best swim coach there was. Are you taking anything yeah. from set? Okay, I've been thinking about it what because are we taking? Cause, like we had the opportunity, obviously, to take something from well, set that reminds also, us of the show. They're breaking down all of our sets, so yeah. if I think of like our my living room is gone, I think they've taken down my like pink bedroom already. I think what I'll end up taking is a yellow shirt. I kind of have to. Oh, that's so <laughs> not funny, Allison. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Girl, so you have to. I've been you joking don't about that yellow shirt. Like yeah. I have to. I've been joking about burning it because I hate that yellow shirt. Because you've worn like, it. I've worn so it so many, many times. times. I was so pissed because I never liked it to begin with, and then they obviously used it for, you know, what she disappeared in. Yeah. And then I got buried. A few times, by the way. And so they made duplicates, but they didn't just make like one or two, they made 13. So there are 13 wow. yellow shirts that I want. That's crazy. To take apart. I'm gonna take a Rosewood yeah. swimsuit. Swimsuit, maybe a track suit. Um, <laughs> maybe a Rosewood Sharks sticker. No, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm probably gonna take a track suit and I think there's actually something weird. It's in your bedroom now. It's a unicorn little jewelry box, and I Aww. love unicorns, and I'm gonna take it. I have um, a vote for Spencer Button that I'm definitely keeping. Okay, thank you. I think Lucy's taking a poster of her and Ian from Ezra's yeah. apartment. But she's taking um, the piglet stuffed animal, whatever oh, she yeah, had. Oh yeah, that was cute. Life. Look what else I found. Oh, she used to drag that thing everywhere. All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed really our video yeah, that we finally you. did for you guys, like I told you we would. And I'm sure there's more to come. I'll think of other fun things that we can do. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.